Moments ago, House Judiciary Committee now approving a new piece of legislation that would reauthorize the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund that covers the health benefits of ground zero first responders and their families. Uh, this was debated. Jack LaMonda, president of the Uniformed Fire Officers Association from the Hill. How you doing, sir, and good morning to you. Tell us and our viewers what happened last hour. Good morning. Yes, uh, well, the, the uh, bill was uh, in, in committee and a, uh, uh, it was in committee for markup and uh, there was no amendments to the bill and it was uh, voted unanimously out of committee to the floor of the House. So do you expect it to pass on the floor of the House and I guess is the obvious yeah. question next there? Yes, well we have tremendous support for, the, for this bill. Never forget the HEROES Act which uh, 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 funds the Victims' Compensation Fund. We have tremendous support from our New York delegation and from our elected officials across the country. Well, sir, what I'm looking at here, how many people need help and how much money do you need? Well, literally, there are thousands of people that have applied to the Victims' Compensation Fund. The special master has done a terrific job. Uh, in dispensing these funds, but it's running out of money. The uh, exactly how much money is needed, that that all depends on how many more people, how many more first responders, how many more civilians become sick yeah. from the and do, do uh, they hazardous have environment. To, do, do they have to prove that they were there on the pile, or how does that work? Well, you know, as far as New York City firefighters and fire officers are concerned, we have, uh, if you were there, you filed a, a notice of particip participation, which documents that you uh, were down at the site for at least 40 hours. Hmm. You wonder why that even has to be debated. A couple things here. Chuck Schumer, a moment ago on the floor of the Senate, said the following. Even in a divided Congress, even in a divided country, this issue is an absolute issue of moral clarity. And just as we don't leave soldiers on the battlefield behind, we must not leave the brave first responders behind when it comes to their health care. And yet, shamefully, it has always been a struggle here in this Congress to abide by that principle. I want to ask you a question on that, then one more point here. Was sure. this ever really in doubt, Jake? Uh, as far as we're concerned, it's not in doubt. We will continue to walk the halls of Congress until this legislation I Understood, but was, was Congress pissed. about to turn tail on this, ultimately? Well, uh, again, uh, you know, we're, we're optimistic that, uh, you know, on the day our nation was attacked, this nation was not divided, and we stood as domestic soldiers, and we expect that when it comes uh, for a full vote that we will uh, be a nation as one, and we will say, signal to the people who had attacked us that we cannot be, we can be knocked down, but we cannot be knocked out. Uh, just one more thing. John Stewart yesterday got a lot of attention. You were there as well. This is part of what he's, he said. Behind me, a filled room of 9-11 first responders, and in front of me, a nearly empty Congress. Sick and dying, they brought themselves down here to speak to no one. It's shameful. It's an embarrassment to the country, and it is a stain on this institution. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. Some members of that committee were pushing back, saying it was moved to a bigger room. That's why the empty chairs were there. They say that only two members of Congress missed the hearing altogether. Uh, just cut through that and answer this question. Did John Stewart turn the tide on this issue for you yesterday? John, John Stewart's phenomenal. Uh, he's been a champion in this cause for New York City fire officers, New York City fire fighters and all first responders and victims. Uh, obviously, he's very passionate about, about this, and he's very emotional, and uh, I believe uh, he has brought insurmountable attention to this issue. You might have needed his voice. Jake, thank you so much for your time. We'll see what happens in the full house. Thank you. Jake LaMonda there in the Hill. Thank you, sir.